Hello, hello, Thumper Fishing. It is, what day is it? February, Monday, February 12th, 2024. Vlog number 26. Anyway, so late start today. I had a few appointments this morning with the tax collector. That's what they call it here in Florida. It's like the DMV and all that kind of registration, tax, property tax, all that kind of, they call it the tax collector. Anyway. As you can imagine, I was waiting there for a while. Anyway, we took care of that. It's about 10 minutes to 11. So we're gonna head over to Canaveral National Seashores like we have recently, lately. Check out a couple spots. I've got enough jibber jabber. I'm gonna go get out there. We're gonna go cast some lines out. We're gonna go see if my buddy Allie, the alligator's sitting there, because he has been the last two times I've been there. And uh, see what we do. We'll catch you on the water, guys. So much stuff moving through the water right now, it's really hard to keep your bait in place without getting a bunch of gunk. All right, sorry for the audio. As you can see, the wind has gotten definitely worse. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get over here. This tide's gone up too. So I'm gonna cut, toss this cup bait out here and then uh, Go do some drifting. my hook and look what I found. Look at these guys getting freaky. Find a room. All right, well, the current is really kicking right now and the wind's really picking up. So like the lesson we learned last week when we got on the fish is if they ain't biting and they ain't here, let's move. So we're gonna try one more spot. See if we can't get lucky before we head home. But did a few drifts through here. Current's just really kicking. Let me see if I can't get some video of it. A lot of manatees going through too. And the real problem is I don't mind the current. I can put on some more weight, but there is just tons of seagrass and algae drifting through. And what that's doing is just snagging my line and just ripping it through. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't know. I think it's probably, it's probably the tide change. I probably came out at the wrong time, but it is what it is, right? How's it going? Yeah, beautiful day. I know, right? That's the second time I've done that. I'm not used to fishing with a weighted shrimp. At least I didn't lose my bottle. Oh man, I got my hook back. Nice. 
kind of bent it a little. Let's see if we can. Alright, time to move, guys. Alright, let's see if we can. Thinking the fish might be trying to get a little cover here, so let's sneak up on this and. Oh my goodness. I can try and catch a tree. So, you know, sometimes you just have those days. We all have them. If you say you don't, you're lying. We all have those days. But hey, the way I look at it is I'm outside. It's actually beautiful out. I don't need to catch nothing. Don't need to catch nothing at all, actually. It'd be a bonus. So come on, baby. Let's get that bonus. I'm a little worried casting down this little mangrove thing just because, you know, if the wind takes me, if a gust of wind comes, takes me to the left or right, and I really don't want to have to lose these these cork setups are like, what, eight to, eight to 10 bucks, something like that. So let's see if we can't fling this thing down there. Give it a shot. if they like spawn and die or if when they come to spawn that they get caught when the waves are like this that's what i read sometimes is you know they come to the shore like this see there's a big one over there too they come to the shore to spawn and then they get caught in the tides of the waves they get caught up and then they die. Pretty crazy. Pretty hard too, like, if you look at it. Interesting creatures for sure. You know, I did read somewhere that their blood's like really valuable. And that's one reason why they're protected. It's like a youth serum or something like that. Some more over here. Anyway guys, so far this is turning out to be a uneventful trip. But I'm gonna try a couple more spots, get in the, get on the road, drive down, try and find a spot maybe that's a little bit more protected from the wind where we can get a good drift, but it's not just windy. It's pretty big tide, sh tide swing going on right now and current, so it's just making everything pretty difficult. And probably best to fish earlier or later, but unfortunately we didn't get out until later. 
So let's try the next couple spots. All right, so I figured I'd swing in here to Biolab uh, boat ramp. No one's here. It's usually a sign the conditions aren't really the best. Otherwise, there'd be someone here. What is this? A giant float of seagrass? So I was thinking about maybe drifting my shrimp along this. Maybe throwing out my cup bait too. Just kind of, I mean, I got about an hour left. The wind's really bad. Thought about going down Biolab Road, but something just jumped right there. I mean, why not, right? Let's just give it a shot here. Dude, I got it all to myself. It's, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, like I said, I'm more, I'm already enjoying myself. I don't have to catch nothing. It's just a bonus. I I enjoy the thrill of looking for something. Oh, something. That, yeah, let's let's try it. I mean, it's not like we're not gonna all of a sudden stop catching fish. We're already not catching fish. So let's bring all three rods here. All three. I always don't gotta come back. And we'll just set up right over here in this corner. Whew, you can definitely smell that seagrass decomposing, that's for sure. Just get away from me, fly. Hopefully the audio isn't too bad. Like I said, I didn't, it said it was gonna be breezy, not like this. But we'll see what we can do, all right? Stay tuned. All right, so I'm not too sure what all this is it wasn't here the last few times I went it was usually connected well we got some company now what was that a trout something just jumped right in front of me let's just try and pop this thing in here and see what we can do I don't want to get too close just yet and spook anything Everybody, that's gonna do it. Unfortunately, I only got about, I only had about an hour and a half, hour 45 to fish, and we put in that time. So I gotta get running. I got more things to do today, but hey, at least we got out here. I thought for sure we we're gonna at least get something, but we got the big old skunk today. But we did go to a few different spots that look, they have some potential. There's some action, there's some wildlife going on but nothing's biting. I've ran into two other fishermen and same thing. They just not, uh, nothing's biting right now. The wind and the current, it's pretty strong. So, but anyway, I appreciate you guys for watching. Sorry I didn't get anything into, you know, catch anything today, but um, either tomorrow or the next day, I do plan on getting the kayak out. I'm not sure, depending on the weather, we'll either go to the port or maybe fish some of the lagoons over here in Canaveral. Uh, national seashores. I do want to get the kayak out here, check out a few. I think that was a mullet, though. That was a big old mullet, though. Good 12 inch mullet just jumped. But anyway, there's some big baits jumping around. Um, good signs. But uh, I'm thinking in order to get the fish, we're going to need to get the kayak out. So that's something that uh, I'll either do tomorrow or the next day. So stay tuned for that. Because usually, if we get the kayak out, you know, we're guaranteed at least hook up with some stuff so bank fishing you know like i said it can be hit and miss but you definitely got to stay on the move we stayed on the move today but unfortunately i don't have enough time to keep moving i bet you we could probably find the fish if i were to keep going down biolab road but uh yeah don't have the time anyway guys thanks for watching stay tuned for tomorrow and uh Catch you in the next one, everybody. Peace.